read you this book called How to Solve a Problem, The Rise and Falls of a Rock Climbing Champion. It is written by Ashima Shirashi and illustrated by Yao Xiao. Now, this is a true story. The author is the rock climber in this story. She actually became a world champion rock climber at the age of 14. I hope you enjoy this story, How to Solve a Problem. How to Solve a Problem, The Rise and Falls of a Rock Climbing Champion. She dedicated it to my Aunt Kay, thanks for teaching me to believe, and the illustrator dedicated it for my grandmothers who showed me that creativity and perseverance can make all the difference. At the beginning, there's a note to the reader. The first time I met Ashima Shirashi, we talked about hip hop books and desert. She is a teenager and curious about all the things that teenagers are curious about. For a moment, one could almost forget that she is one of the best in the world at what she does. At the end of our meeting, I asked what she's doing next. She says she will go practice, by which she means she will face a wall for four hours. She will climb it again and again. She will work on holds and techniques. She will make mistakes and make them again until she learns how to do it better. Being the best in the world is not something we are born into. Ashima's parents aren't climbers. They are artists, New Yorkers. Her mom loves to sew and still makes the pants Ashima climbs in. Her father was a dancer, the kind of guy who takes his young daughter to Central Park and lets her climb the rocks because it's fun, not knowing there is a champion inside her. Being the best in the world is made of countless hours in the gym. It's made of mistakes and falls. It's the discipline and care and the time it takes to go back to that wall and try again. The ability to try again after failing, that is what it takes to be great. This might be Ashima's greatest superpower. I imagine every child might like to be the best in the world at something, and I know of no better guide than this teenager who likes hip-hop books and, de and desert, who, after school, will go to a wall in Queens or Brooklyn and keep working on that wall, that problem, as a climber would say, until she has solved it. Christopher Myers. I am Ashima. What I do is climb. What I do is solve problems, which is to say, I make them mine. We climbers call our boulders problems. We also call our problems problems. And to solve them both is sort of the same. Once I had a problem and it stretched into the sky. It was tremendously endless. It was bigger than thinking. It was as huge as the air or the night or the planet. It was a problem bigger than any I'd ever seen, and I have seen plenty. There were twists and turns. There were places that looked as slick as glass. One part was arched like a question mark. Another part stuck out like my father's elbow in a photo I had seen of him dancing. And another was shaped like the bolts of fabric stacked in my mother's sewing room. There were many parts, and none of them looked easy. I sighed and clapped my hands full of chalk, which is what I do before I solve a problem. I held this problem in my head. I mapped out every step, each place I would put my hand, and then I would begin to climb. Dug my toe into the dot of the question mark. Jammed my fingertips into the bend of my father's dancing elbow. Kicked my leg over my mother's fabrics. And then, for a moment, the world slipped out from under me. I was climbing on nothing but air. Oh my goodness. The ground beneath me rushed up and pressed into my back like the hand of a giant named Gravity. So I dusted myself off. Dad asked how I was feeling. He passed me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and for a while, we just sat there. Then, when I was ready, I looked at the problem again with the new information the fail had given me. Each fall is a message, a hint, an idea, a new way to move from over there to over here. And so I started, and so I fell, and so I climbed again, listening to what the fall had told me. 
The problem that was endless, which I broke into little pieces. The problem that gave me hints with each fall. And surely and quickly, I climbed the wall. I dug my fingers there and here and stretched my arms like ropes. I threw my body through the air and caught myself in all the ways I'd imagined. A bright path of thinking. And there, at the top of the problem, I looked down at the bolts of fabric, the dot of the question mark, the bend of the elbow, and I waved hello at the memory of how hard the problem was. Each of these little dots was where she encountered a problem, but she learned from her mistake and made it to the top. And looked for one more problem. Ashima's Ascent. April 3rd, 2001, Ashima Shirashi is born to Tasaya and Hisatashi Shirashi. Data is not available for when Ashimi figures out how to climb out of her crib. Age six, Ashima begins climbing at Rat Rock in Central Park in New York City. Age seven, Ashima enters her first climbing competition. Age eight, Ashima solves the problem, power of silence in Hugo Tanks, Texas. This boulder is rated V10 for difficulty, a grade only expert climbers can achieve. She did it at age eight. Age nine, Ashima climbs her first V11 and V12 problems, including Roger in the shower and Chablanque in Hugo Tanks. Age 10, Hashima becomes the youngest person ever to climb a V13 problem, Crown of Aragorn in Hugo Tanks. Only elite climbers and professionals can climb at this grade. And she did it at the age of 10. Age 13, Ashima climbs Golden Shadow in Rockland, South Africa, pictured in this book, her first V14. Age 14, Ashima becomes the first woman in the world to climb a V15 boulder problem, Horizon in Mount Hai, Japan. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right. She is the second person ever to solve this problem at the age of 14, everybody. Age 15, Ashima sweeps the IFSC Youth World Championships for her third year running and also places first in the SCS Nationals. What comes next? The skies the limit. And not only is she a rock climber, she's also an author. And that is the end of that story. It does tell us a little bit more about Ashima here on the back. Ashima Shirashi started climbing at the age of six and today she is one of the best climbers in the world. She is the first female climber ever to ascend a B15 bouldering, bouldering problem earning praise from Outside Magazine as a young crusher and the New York Times as the bouldering phenom. This is her first picture book. I hope you guys enjoyed this story, How to Solve a Problem, The Rise and Falls of the Rock Climbing Champion. If you look down in the comments of this video, I'm going to include a couple videos. One where she was 14 and she's giving a TED Talk, and then another one where they're interviewing her. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.